Hello everyone. I'm just gonna sit here until Luis gets here. Anyone got any questions? Any preguntas? Anyone? Hi, Anna. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. I tried to but, join as early as I could. Oh, it's fine. I was like, oh my god, he's not coming. <laughs> <laughs> So are you ready for some Portuguese? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I'm not a great teacher, but uh, I mean, I can give you some street Portuguese. Okay, sweet. That's what I need. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> I did a little bit of research and mm -hmm. luckily I found an, an amazing Instagram called the Portuguese Dictionary. Oh, yes. Which has, yes, literal translations into English of Portuguese idioms. Yeah. So anyway, uh, you've been living here for a while, so what do you know already? Um, como é que é? <laughs> como é que é? It's very good. <laughs> Especially because you, you live in Margem Sul, so you need to know. Is that, oh, is that a Margem Sul thing? No, no. Oh, no. okay. But if you call everybody Mano, that's a good, you know, that's a good way to start. Mano. Mano. Yeah, that's okay. like brother. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah. Mano <laughs> or Mana for a girl. Okay. I mean, I can say like, uh, Ola, Shama Ma Anna. <laughs> Very good. And but I always have to say that I, my name is spelled with two N's. Okay, Anna con dois N's. Uh, con, dois. Com dois. N's. Com dois N's. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you know how to say where you're from? Um, I can say, so in Glazer. Can I say that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm English. <laughs> viva School in Lisboa? Huh? Viva in Lisboa? Viva, oh, I live in Lisbon. Well, I don't live in Lisbon, do I? You live in Almada. I live in Almada. Yeah, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, I'm not, I'm not from Lisboa either. I live, I live in Lisboa, but I am from Viseu. Okay. So how can I uh, say, I live in Almada, but I'm from Doncaster? <laughs> vivo, vivo, vivo em Almada, mas sou de Doncaster. Okay, can you slow down? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so f let's break it down. Mm -hmm. Vivo em Almada, you already know. Yeah. Mas, which is mas, but. But. So the, I am from. Okay, so the, Doncaster. Doncaster. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yes. Um, can you say toco bateria? Toca a bateria. Toco, eu toco bateria. Eu toco a bateria. I, I, but I, I was going to say brincar, like I play. No, that's like in French. You play. can say jouer, it means the same thing as uh, oh. play and, uh, and, and in English it's the same. But here, yeah. brincar is to play, like kids, children, child play. Yeah. And to tocar, which is literal also for to touch. Ah, tocar, okay. Tocar um instrumento. Okay, nice. Yeah, play an instrument. So okay. you can say toco bateria. Toca to, toco. Yeah, eu toco, toco a bateria. bateria. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you an insider tip. Okay. If you wanna make anything cuter in Portuguese, you have to throw in a diminutive at the end. Okay. For example, for example, you can say so a niña. Inha. Ah. Inha for feminine. Yeah. Inho for masculine, you can always make everything nicer. For example, o almocinho, the lunch, it's like the little lunch. Okay. Sounds much nicer yeah. if you say it like, like that. And some waiters at restaurants will be saying this, so do you want a cafezinho, uh, oh. almocinho, um, oh. uma carninha, a faturinha. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, very important, at <laughs> restaurants, you need to know... Uh, <laughs> Fatura com contribuinte. 
<laughs> oh no, what's this? <laughs> no, you know, everybody asks you, and, and I, my, all my foreign friends freak out when they hear this question because they have no idea what it means, but everybody asks you for your, if, the, if, you, if you need your taxpayer ID, Oh God! That on is... your invoice yeah, at the yeah. restaurants, right? Yeah. So that's what what you need to know. What you need to know to re to respond to that. Because do you already have a taxpayer ID in Portugal? You don't. I do. Right? You do. <laughs> yeah. So that's your NIF. Your yeah. NIF. Yeah. So you got to tell them the NIF NIF back. So if uh, they ask okay. you fatura con contribuinte, mm -hmm. you can you need to say the NIF back. back. Well, whenever because... I go to the supermarket, there's yeah. always like. Um, the order in which they say things and it's either and it's usually do you want a bag yeah and I'll usually say no and then they'll say something else which I'm never sure what it is and I'm pretty sure it's that and I say no <laughs> this is all uh, this is all a retail dance right so yeah. first yeah. the bag then they ask you for a loyalty card if you have a yeah. number or something like yeah. that and then they're gonna ask you at the end if you need the the, the contribuent the taxpayer mm -hmm. uh, taxpayer ID on the receipts Okay. And that's very important so that our finance ministers knows what you're doing. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> very important. Actually, I got a text message from the government today, the Portuguese government, in English. Very good. Yeah. So, yeah. like, don't go, don't go anywhere for Easter. Stay at home. Yeah. I guess you the, probably got the same one. Actually, maybe a, a text. Maybe a text. Yeah. Uh, I think they're sending alerts. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm staying home. I've been home for 30 days. Oh God, months, me too. Now. So, uh, how is it to be to be doing social isolation in in Portugal? Uh, it's, I mean, it's special. You notice? It's fine. I mean, I'm away so much from my friends, like who live in London, that it kind of doesn't really feel that weird. I'm just sort yeah. of, you know, it's a shame that we don't have an outdoor space here. But, but you like, have a beautiful view. Well, we've got a really nice view, so that helps. So I can like look over the Tejo and I can see Lisbon as well from yeah. the other side. Proper. So that's that's okay. How are you yeah, doing? I mean, well, it's okay. I mean, I get to go out to do some exercise and walk my dog. Um, yeah. But other than that, yeah, I've been home pretty much, trying to keep busy making some little little projects, music, yeah. playing, playing, doing DJ sets as you in the weekend. Yeah. Um, That's actually keeping me sane. <laughs> very much, very much. I think I need a routine to do something over yeah. the, the, the yeah. weekend. Um, sh sh shall we proceed with a little, a little bit of uh, yeah. teaching? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do some uh, idioms, which are always very hard to get. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something, some things that that are not literally uh, translatable. Okay. Okay. So something very English. We, sh we say when someone doesn't have the right etiquette, okay. we say that they have falta de chá. Falta de chá. Yeah, which literally means lack of tea. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, so they're not about... like sophisticated, I see. Yeah, when they're not sophisticated, they don't know the proper oh. conduct to be in oh. a social situation at, at a like dinner that. party. Yeah. What's the order of the, the cutlery they should use or which glasses for which okay. drink? That's yeah. lack of tea. Yeah. Uh, and it's very <laughs> appropriate for English. <laughs> <laughs> and then the opposite. Someone that has a uh, lack of tea always has a lot of can, which means that they ha they are very audacious and they can they say whatever th th it's on their mind. And it okay. says, I mean, you say, Tens muita lata. Tens muita lata. Yeah. When someone approaches you and has no, is not ashamed to say something to you, they have muita lata. Oh, wow. God, that's not me at all. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Uh, it's people with a lot of can. A lot of what? Sorry. Can. Yeah. Literal translation is can. can. Like a can. Like oh, a okay. Can. Yeah, yeah. And when someone doesn't know anything about uh, a subject or anything else in life, they mm. are a turnip. <laughs> es un nabo. Es? Un. Mm. Nabu. Nabu. Very well. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> or in your case, you can say to a woman that they are a nava. Okay, mm. right. As okay. woman nava. Yeah, the female turnip. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Is this a thing? Um, um, if I were to say, uh, ekanja. Kanja, yeah, this is, this is very ekanja, good. Ekanja, yeah. 
Kenji is chicken soup, uh, yeah. but it means that something is very easy for you. Okay. Like playing, um, let's say, playing smells like team spirit, a Kenji to me. Oh. Yeah, it's like the first song I learned to play on the drums. <laughs> A of friend, course. Really, a yeah. friend of mine, uh, um, when we were kids, wanted to play the drums so bad that he got mm -hmm. a collection of Tupperwares from his mother, from the yeah. kitchen. Mm -hmm. He learned Smells Like Teen Spirit on Tupperwares. And when he got the drum kit, he played the entire song with no wow. mistakes. So this was wow. pretty cool. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so Smells Like Teen Spirit, we have a version of that for guitar in, Port in Portugal. It's called mm -hmm. Duna okay. um, by GNR. Yeah, uh, and everybody learns this song uh, when first st starting to play guitar. Okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, let me see what else. Um, okay, when you you turn the boat or you call Greg, both of them are used for when you throw up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, the first one is turn the boat. It's like when you turn the boat, or, uh, flip the boat oh, around. Oh, okay, right. right. Yeah. So that's virar o barco. Vida. Huh? Virar, to turn. Yeah, vida. O barco. O barco, okay. Uba yeah, very good. You're a natural. Oh, thanks. Getting there. Obrigada. <laughs> Obrigada. Good Obrigada, sim. Sí. Yeah, very good. <laughs> um, and uh, what the other one was? Uh, virar o barco and... Ah, calling Greg. Chamar o Greg. What, what is it, sorry? Chamar. Yeah. O Greg. Shema o Greg. I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> like like Greg, like Gregory. Ah, okay. Shema. Shemaru Greg. Shemaru Greg. Yeah, that's very good. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, what else? Um, apanhar a farda. Okay. Try. Say it again. Apanhar. Apan apanhar. 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 Very good. A farda. A farda. Yeah, that means literal translation is to uh, to catch the uniform. <laughs> what does that mean? What context? To get completely drunk. <laughs> oh, nice. To catch the uniform. A farda. I can't explain. Wow, that is weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, there's uh, other versions of this, like apanhar a puta, apanhar a real, mas it, mm. I prefer a panada farda, it's more polite. Okay. Uh, to get wasted. Okay. Um, wasted. Like people are helping me are helping me here in the comments. A sarda, okay. thank you. Sarda. Sarda or jarda. Uh, <laughs> ah yeah. Gran ganda jarda. Try it with me. Ganda jarda. 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 Very good. That means great yard. Great yard. Which, which is also a big uh, a big uh, when you're really wasted. <laughs> either, either either from smoking something or drinking something. Or both. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, if this is very important, especially for the times we're living in. Mm -hmm. Estar de farmácia aberta. Estar de farmácia... Aberta. Aberta. What do you think this means? Say again. Estar... Estou. I am. De farmácia... De farmácia. Like, is that something to do with a pharmacy? Yes. Yeah. Aberta. Open. Yes, very good. It <laughs> means that your fly is open and you forgot to zip it. <laughs> it also means that the pharmacy is open. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, very good. This is, this is amazing. I, 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 have, I don't have much to teach you. Um, <laughs> uh, let me think. I have trouble, like, hearing it. And translating it in my brain, but if it's written down, yeah, I... that's that's the thing because we tend to eat up some of the phonemes. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I s s slowly say this, like "estar de farmácia aberta," no one speaks like this, unfortunately. No, but I understood it's... you then. <laughs> yeah, but usually I would say "estar farmácia aberta," which means which like everything is compressed and it's mm -hmm. very hard to untangle if you're not native native, native yeah. speaker. So yeah. all I can promise you is it gets better. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. okay. Some 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 other um, release the chicken. Oh, I've come across that one. Yeah. Wait. No, no, I've got another one. Muitos 
anos a viver frangos. A virar frangos, very good, <laughs> very good. Muitos anos a virar frangos. That means when you're a specialist of, on something. Oh, okay, great. Like, let's say, uh, dude, you played in an, in an entire show without making any mistakes, and you respond, muitos anos a virar frangos. Oh, okay. But I've been selling chickens it. for years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you must say it with an attitude. Like, yeah. like imagine Nando's in, in the UK. Yeah. Right? So yeah. someone is at Nando's on the grill. And, yeah. and, someone, and, and you tell them to, into the kitchen, hey, the food was amazing. And he doesn't even look at you and he just says, Muitos anos a virar French. That's what it. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that might be my favorite one. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about uh, the ass of Judas? When something oh. is very far away. No Kud Judas. The ass of Judas. <laughs> yes. That place is in the ass of Judas. Okay. How okay. do I say that one? No Kud Judas. No Kud Judas. Yes, very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the same vein, you have Dia de São Nunca à Tarde. Okay. That's so, the day of Saint Never in the afternoon. Day of Saint Never in the afternoon. When something yeah. is never going to happen, okay? Oh, okay, right. Hey, do you want to go out with me? Yeah, in the Dia de São Nunca Tarde. Right, it's a bit like saying in, the month, in a month of Sundays or something like that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. okay. Exactly. Um, and when someone is, uh, when there's a lot of people in the, pl in the place, it's there, it's uh, mais que as mais. Mais que as mais. mais. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, more than the mums. Ah, oh, okay, okay. With a lot of people. Yeah. I don't even have to ask you to repeat because you say it perfectly. Oh, um, so maybe some other two good ones for me is to calm down the popcorn. Okay, I like popcorn. Yeah. It means to chill. <laughs> okay. A calmar a pipoca. Oh, I love that word, pipoca. <laughs> a calmar, what is it? A calmar? A calmar, a calmar. To, Come to on. calm down. Yeah. A pipoca. A pipoca. Perfect. Pipoca is popcorn. <laughs> and, um, well, someone was saying here to... Uh, my, my grandfather used to, to say that I make music to shake the helmet. The <laughs> banana capacete. <laughs> uh, and I always, it always made me laugh. Uh, shake the helmet means, like, music to dance to. Ah, okay. Right. Uh, banar o capacete. Okay. How this is old school. Like, the youngsters don't say it anymore. It's like, like, boomer Portuguese. Well, okay. it's very kind of daft punk as well, isn't it, I guess? Yeah, yeah. Abanar o capacete. Yeah. Say it again, sorry? Abanar. Abanar. O capacete. O capacete. Very good. Okay. Yeah, very good. I, I, I mean... Other than, uh, let me see, what else do I have here? Uh, oh, really? Ah, yeah, this is very important, and I will leave you with this one for today. Okay. Okay. When someone makes a fool of themselves, <laughs> okay, his yeah. or herself, they make a figure... <laughs> 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 they make a figure of bear. A figure of bear? Yes. Okay. Figura de urso. Figura de gorso. Urso. Okay. Figura. Figura. De. De. Urso. Urso. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Agora, now you're going to say the full sentence. Luís. Luís. Tu muitas vezes. Tu muitas vezes. Fazes. Fazes. Figura de urso. Figura do Sul. Very good. Very good. Yes. Uh, that was great. That was great. <laughs> do, you any, do, do you guys have any suggestions in the comments? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Paz Barba Moz. This means someone is telling me to make the beat, to, to shave my beard. But unfortunately, <laughs> I, I usually go to a, to a barber and I can't. So I, that, I, know, I know the situation, okay? <laughs> I mean, uh, my hair's gotten really long as well. It's like not even in the shop. There we go. No, uh, it's don't compare. This like this is like a, a forest now. I can turn <laughs> upside down. It will still be hair. Um, <laughs> uh, let me see. Ah, puxar a brasa a sardinha. When you pull the the coal, when the coal is lit, there's a name for that, right? 
when a call has a uh, higher the ember, ember, like the the ember yes, yeah. when you pull the ember into the sardine. Oh. That's that means when you favor something. Okay. That is yours. Like mm -hmm. let's say like uh, when you want people to uh, pay attention to one of your issues, you, mm -hmm. you say puxar a brasa sardinha. Okay. Okay, and it's something very Portuguese. Okay, let's see. Let me see, have another capacete. Calmada pipoca. What's this pingos de chuva? Passar pelos pingos de chuva. Ah, something about we... rain, penguins <laughs> in the rain. Yeah, pingos is drop, droplets. Oh, droplets. not a penguin. <laughs> That's pinguin. It's not. Pinguin. It's not far away. Yeah. yeah. Uh, pingos, uh, pingos de chuva is like when someone pass, uh, someone very sly, you know. Yeah. That okay. moves gracefully in any in any situation. Mm -hmm. And when someone is fooling you, someone is saying here by my loja, okay. something very north. Uh, from where I'm from, do you usually say by my loja when someone is like? is not being very honest with you and you respond because you, you, you're on to them. So instead of uh -huh. saying I'm on to you, you say, oh, by my lawyer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I think that's, that's enough for today. I think so. <laughs> well, that was great. I hope that was informative. <laughs> it was very informative. And now a friend of ours is saying, uh, Lidi is saying, Saida Francesa, she's French. So that's very appropriate when you exit very without anyone noticing oh a french exit yeah a french french exit this is yeah. literally translatable well okay. you know the, Fr the french say english goodbye i think for the same thing yeah and we also uh, usually there's um, there's something about people not showering and having body odor uh, okay. we usually say that uh, I've learned that we usually refer to French as not having and not, not showering, but I, I know that French refers to like the Italian shower, which means to putting on perfume. perfume. Uh, okay. and the Italians have yeah, that yeah. towards Greek. I think it's a chain of uh, real body, sh body odor shaming that yeah. is across Europe. It's fine. God damn. <laughs> it's fine. But, but I think there's a new one now, isn't there? I think if you kind of, if you're leaving a party and you're really, really loud about it, surely it's like, she did a Brexit, you know. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving, and I no. That's and I want everyone Brexit, to know. A Brexit is not like that. A Brexit, Brexit is you leave the party, but the party has to finish once you leave. Oh yeah. But yeah it yeah. cannot continue. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't leave like peacefully. <laughs> wow, we went there. <laughs> yeah, I'm so. I, I know. I mean, I, know. I brought it up. Yeah, that's right. But we, we can leave the Brexit uh, topics in Portuguese for another day, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay. I hope, okay. I hope this was good. It was. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Luis. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks for Bye -bye. watching. <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye. Um, thank you for joining me on my little Portuguese lesson. Um, I definitely need to get better. But I think my accent's kind of getting there. Um, bye, everyone. Stay safe, wash your hands. Coronavirus. <laughs>